Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial function and we are asked to use the intermediate value theorem to show that this polynomial has a real zero between the given integer of negative one and zero. So what we need to do is to calculate first the value of the function at negative one which in this case is going to be 2 times negative 1 to the 4 power minus 4 times negative 1 to the second power plus 1. And let's see here, negative 1 to the 4 power is positive 1 times 2 is going to be 2. Negative 1 to the second power is 1 times negative 4 or minus 4. That will be minus 4 here and plus 1. And we can calculate this now. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. The value of the function f at negative 1 is negative 1. And we're going to do similar for 0, f of 0, which in fact is a lot easier, right? Because you have 2 times 0 to the 4 power minus 4 times 0 to the second power plus 1 f of 0 will be nothing else than 1, right? It's a positive value. So based now on this IVT, which you see it here, uh, the intermediate value theorem, we know that this function has a 0. Why? Because the function is negative here, it's positive here. So somewhere between these two guys, the function is going to be 0. That is the meaning of the IVT for our problem. Yeah, the value of the function at negative 1 is negative. The value of the function at 0 is positive. So somewhere between negative 1 and 0, the function will be 0. And that's it. If you enjoyed these video clips, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.